Welcome back. Welcome back to the final product of the mystery envelope. So this is what I have left from the supplies from the mystery envelope that I was sent by Bea Grob, a mixed media artist here on YouTube. And the whole idea is you use 70% of the material sent. So this is what I have left. And if you weren't present for the, if you're new here and you weren't present for the first video, I will link in the I card above on the right hand side what I received in the mystery envelope. Now to show you what I made with the mystery envelope. Here we go. This is what I made with the mystery envelope. I made these little pouches with the contents of the mystery envelope. Now you could add anything you wanted to and my inspiration was she sent me one page protector and with that page protector of course I added kinda of got a little carried away and added three more from my own stash but as you can see this was the vintage book page and I added some sequins and she also had given me these little diamonds that you use for those diamond paintings so they're in there and a little medallion and so what I did was I made a collage the way I'd like it and then put it in the page protector and sewed it up. So this one just needs a closure. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do for, for the closures yet. This one I think is my favorite. This was the vintage 1800s, um, 1800s book with the postcard and I just loved the handwriting here and the medallion as well. She did send a piece of green cardstock and the only thing I added besides the extra page protector was some dress patterning paper. And I think I may use that green button as the closure for this one as well. And then this was the envelope. The, she had sent an envelope, the, the envelope she sent everything in. She had done some art on it. So this is her original art and her stamp on this and you can still see the postage part here and then what I did was I used that fabric the heart fabric and put a piece of my own painting papers behind it and then put it in the page protector and sewed it up as well so now I just have to decide how I'm gonna close them which I haven't yet this was something in my own stash this was a piece of artwork that my young daughter made me and so many times I don't know about you but I have a, several children and you keep little bits and pieces of their artwork and this is just a perfect way to to save it she had done it on one of those Dixie cups those accordion Dixie cups and I added some beads and some of my own painting papers and as you can see vintage book page you know so many of us are me in particular collect vintage book pages and some of them are really um, fragile so this one is encased in here and then just bits and pieces of glitter, you know, almost like a shaker card, right? But it's in an envelope or a little, little wallet. So I hope you enjoyed my final product of what I made with the mystery envelope. I'd like to ask each and every one of you to head down to the description box below and click on the next artist in line and show them some love. Like and subscribe, comment. It really makes my day, and I'm sure as well as all the others in this video hop, when you, when you get positive feedback, or feedback at all really, about the projects that you do. And I want to thank Bea Grob for sponsoring this video hop and sponsoring these mystery envelopes. If you are interested in purchasing a mystery envelope, you can head over to her channel, and it's in the description box below, Bea Grob. And get on board and see what the next next mystery envelope holds anyway as always from my heart to your heart i'm sending you so much aloha until next time